Welcome back guys, Paul J Avery Outdoors. Um, we got back from Bundooma Dam yesterday. Um, I was talking to the missus last night and we thought, why not, let's go again. Uh, we got three weeks off, so we're gonna go away for another four days to Bajolki Peterson and try our luck out there. So we went and stocked up on groceries and went to BCF, stocked up on some stuff that we lost out at Bundooma and got a couple new rods for the trip. Um, cars packed. Rods are on, we're ready to rock and roll, so it's just going to be me, Tiara, and Kat this time. Tom's back at his mum's and Shiloh's staying at home, the neighbour's going to feed her. So yeah, we're going to head out now, and we are going to get on the road, and we shall see you then. Look at that So we're at the Bajolki Peterson Dam and um, it's fantastic, good people up at the kiosk um, sort us out, we're just waiting on the cabin to be ready. Um, but yeah, camp kitchen's good, didn't go in a bloody oven. Got an oven, <laughs> microwave, look it's even got a bloody ball, ball <laughs> canes and stuff, it's good. Yeah, trivial pursuit. It's got the um, Got the barbecue, sinks, more barbecue, it's got hot plates, electric hot plates, okay. little fridge, spot the you your camp oven cooking over there. I'd say you'd be able to use that one every day. What's that for? Some nice little chairs actually. Big TV, massive big TV. There's a lot. Got a playground for the kids, so it's real. And they got fans. And then we've got a massive pool. Massive pool over there. The pool's up in here. We'll take you up in there another day. But there's no one in there. Massive, massive um, tennis board and pool. Put the pool over there, that'd be sick. We're gonna hit that, we're gonna probably go do some fishing, come back and hit the pool. Yeah. Look at the size of this table. It's huge. It's a beautiful spot out here. Other side. Am I going to grab my knees up because I can't reach? What do you want, babe? Oh. What do you want, Sarah? Going to the toilet to check them out. And then oh. you. Kill the. Uh oh. We're going to do Rory. We're going to do Rory. And maybe a number two. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, another camp kitchen too. Wow. This is not as good. But still, it's a camp kitchen. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Can you go in? Showers are beautiful, very good. Yeah, they've obviously done a bit of work in here because it looks brand new. Fantastic. Right, guys, so got to Pajoki Peterson, went into the kiosk, upgraded the cabin to the luxury lakeside. Um, it's just a little bit better of a cabin. It's not anything fantastic, but it's a lot better than what we had. Didn't tell the girls, so it was a surprise. We actually had to, had to wait an hour to um, get the cabin because it wasn't clean. So we just went and sat up near the pool and got some of that footage and whatnot. But take you a run through this one. Massive carport under here, which houses, buddy. You can near get a boat and a car in there. Huge. And then you got your upstairs area. TV, fringe, kitchen, tiaras, set up, that's a good little setup. Look. Look, you girls can sleep in there if you want, and I'll sleep out here. Really? Yeah. It's not that air, can I watch TV or not? Second room with another aircon, which is awesome. And then also, there's little bedside tables, which I think are really cool. And then there's little drawers. And then also, the cupboard space for the bedroom which is really good as well. Oh. Toilet. It's a beautiful place. Shower, massive shower. Oh, Very nice. Gee, it's nice in here, babe. Look at the window. These must be renovated kitchens. There's another bed Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, very good. You can fit four people, can you? Five people at the couch. There you go. Fridge. All the essentials. No, I'm making a laugh when you do that. Why? Right. Mm -hmm. Look in the cupboard. They will we'll troll all these edges around here and all up and around the back and here. And if we don't get anything, we'll try and find fish or some structure and we'll flick the lures down and do 360s around the boat and see if we can pick them up that way but we have just decided today that we are going to go for a swim and chill out not go fishing until the morning um, just a little bit buggered because we just got back from Boondoomba Dam yesterday slept one night at the house and then we drove out here so The Jelke Peterson, hands down, I think, is way better camping. But who knows what the dam's like. So, Nduma wasn't that great anyway. We're only catching little fish. Nearly got onto one real big fella. But 
Yeah, we'll go after the boat. So it don't count. I've seen its tail flap up out of the water. It's huge. Could have been about that big. Easy. Huge. Is there walking track here? Tiara seen it. Um, I don't know actually. I'm not sure. Last time I was here, I camped in the free camp spot. There's a little place you can drive down. It's right near the boat room. I'll take you for a drive down there soon. Righto, so I just cut up a heap of rock melon. This is what I catch all my red claw on. Always use rock melon, don't use anything else. Um, the, all those red claw we caught at Boondoom are all on ro uh, rock melon. It's actually starting to spit here. It's starting to get a bit of rain, so... Um, I'm not sure how long that's gonna stick around for, but that's not real good for fishing anyway, but I guess we'll see anyway. I'm still gonna... I wasn't going to go out this afternoon, but <clears throat> I think I'm going to put these pots in, take the boat down, put these pots in, have a little bit of a troll around and see how I go and come back up, go down for an hour or two. So yeah, that's it, just going to load these pots up and be done with it. Yeah. So I'm not real fussed on how I put me um, rock melon in. I've got five traps going out, I've got seven all up, but I'm just going to use five today, so um, probably go two or three. Four pieces in each one. There are four pieces because we've got so one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, and then that one. So yeah, that'll be right. Four big pieces anyway. And then we just close him up like that. And uh, oh, I think a lot of people use the bags in them, but I was just talking to a bloke up at the caravan sites there, and he's putting bloody cat food in here is which um you know does work but I feel like these work better. Rock melon works better. We'll see how we go anyway. So let's wrap that around there like that. And then that's ready to be thrown out into the water. And I just load them all up on the front.
He didn't have to say ready. I was already. <laughs> now the camera's like ready. Yeah. So, we were getting at the pool and we saw your car, so we ran back here and jumped in. Did you? I caught a fish. I caught a fish. Hey, yeah. Is it big? <coughs> 28 centimetre bass. Keep it? No. Little bass. Last day at Bajoki Peterson. We're heading home this morning, bright and early. I think it's about six. Six twenty. We'll be out of here by quarter two. <laughs> what? All the bin juices are all over me. Yeah. No, I've got an energy drink on the go then. Not a bad little key off. Righto guys, that concludes the trip to BP Dam. Had a great little four days away with the family, it was awesome. It wasn't a major fishing trip or anything like that, it was just to get away and relax. Um, Caravan Park was great, and yeah, it's just all in all a really great trip. So like, comment, subscribe, holler back at your boy, and I shall see you on the next video. Peace.